All right, let's take a look, uh, moving on a little bit here. So we've started talking about this a little bit already. Uh, is there a best order for taking the exams? And uh, on this one, there's a couple of different ways to start thinking about this. So the first thing is that if you're doing the transition plan, uh, which has three exams in 4.0, which would be programming, planning, and practice, constru construction documents and services, and site planning and design, then you can take two exams, which would be uh, in our, the way we talk about it, uh, numbers uh, four and numbers five. Uh, and so this is essentially the design portion and the kind of CD sets portions. So those are called project, pro project, project planning and design and project development and documentation. So one way to think of it is I do the three plus these two uh, and I am therefore done with the entire exam. Uh, so I can do uh, a transition from a seven exam to a six exam and somehow manage to do it in five exams. It's kind of an amazing thing. Uh, we've got other uh, podcasts and, and uh, webinars that uh, are available to check that out and there's a bunch of information about that uh, on uh, the NCARB site as well. So that's one approach is sort of doing this, uh, this transition approach. It does mean that you will go from one type of exam, which is doing the 4.0, uh, the three exams in 4.0, uh, into directly into this other type, uh, and you're jumping into the two biggest, these are the enormous exams. So comparatively, uh, four and five are very big exams. You have to realize that essentially what was in a lot of other exams suddenly shows up mostly in these two. Now, just to, just to uh, add to what you're saying, when you say they're really big exams, <clears throat> I think these are the largest exams. Yeah. They're not um, necessarily they're not crazy like big, but twice yeah. as many questions or anything like that, but they're more questions than the other ones. Uh, and I think really what you're getting at is the range uh, yeah. and depth of topics that you kind of have to have knowledge of is, is a lot greater in these two exams, right? Yeah, so for example, uh, structures and, and systems uh, and detailing and design issues uh, and uh, even planning issues, uh, you're going to find all of those topics are essentially covered in these two exams. So there's just a lot of stuff to get through. Uh, and it's just a very wide range, as you say. Um, so kind of diving into those two will be quite a thing. Like it'll, uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be quite the, quite the leap. But you get through the whole thing in five exams, so there's some big benefits from that. Um, the other ways of starting to think about this, as uh, Mark was just starting to talk about it a few minutes ago, um, I think we can safely sort of draw a line between the first two and then three through six. And so I would absolutely take one and two together and then take uh, three, four, five, and six together. Uh, if there's no reason, like if you are not part of the transition plan or anything like that, and you're just, you know, sort of thinking of it abstractly, you're just gonna start in five and you're just about ready to, to get going. I don't think there's any big advantage in doing them out of order. Uh, I think doing three, four, five, and six makes a lot of sense. They sort of build on each other. Uh, you feel, I think, a little more confident as you're moving through them because you've already started talking about certain issues and it becomes clear uh, when you're talking about it's kind of a general idea versus when you start getting into more specific uh, concepts. So to me, I would do three, four, five, and six together, and I would do one and two together. Now, whether I do one and two first, I think that's wholly a different question. I think whether you do one, two, three, four, five, six, or whether you do three, four, five, six, one, two, uh, or two, one, I don't think it really matters, but I would definitely think of them in those two groups. And maybe a way to think about it, just um, I don't know, as a as a as a way to make a decision about which of those groups you start with. Um, those the, the exams one and two are are shorter exams. Um, the number of questions, you know, not like a not by a, a hundred questions difference, but you know, but there's ten or, ten or fifteen, twenty questions less. Um, so it might be a good idea, you know, if you wanted to kind of get your feet wet 
and uh, and, and kind of get going. Maybe you focus on those guys to kind of get you going. And then as Mike is saying, exams three, you know, from three to five, it really does build in terms of the depth of content that you really get into. Um, and then six, I think, is a little bit less. I think so kind of tails off a little bit, maybe. Yeah, six is more like one and two in terms of the complexity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's there's a lot of potential. There's a pretty wide range of potential questions there too, but there are fewer questions. It's on the same scale as as one and two. So I think six is the sort of easiest from that standpoint. You, you know, you never know because the you can always get a hard question, but uh, definitely six is going to be the easiest of the three, four, five, six. Uh, and then one and two, as you say, are relatively small and straightforward and might be a good one uh, to just kind of get, get used to the new format. Um, so doing them right in order, not a bad idea. Yeah, seems to make sense. Now, having said that, uh -oh. <laughs> I, always, I always need to say, you know, there is no perfect way to do this. And if for some reason you felt like, you know, I really am good at construction, uh, I've been doing a lot, I've been you know, on the job site on a bunch of projects, I feel super comfortable with that. I just want to start with something I know so I can get a win under my belt. All right, start with six, right? There's no problem with that. Whatever system you come up, there is no golden order to this. There is no way that, there's no specific like cheat way to, you know, if I do it in a different order, I'm gonna win the game, you know? You do it in whatever way feels comfortable to you. Having looked at it, to us, seems like pretty much in order, or in those two groups at least, is probably the smartest way to go. Uh, so that's what I would say about that. Uh, I think we could delve a lot deeper in there, but I think that pretty much uh, kind of covers the way that at least I would think about it. Yeah.